Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to the Slavarian Trucker. So, I'm kind of making my way over to Seversk, but, uh... There's like a random car over there just in the desert. Is that supposed to be like that? I don't have any missions right now. I didn't see anything very good. Also, I don't think some stuff saved from last time, right? I could have sworn I changed the, the hood and, like, the door. Man, am I gonna get jumped right now? <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm a little worried here, actually. But maybe this is how you find cars in the game. Oh, that has like stuff in the back. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm definitely intrigued and this might be worth the risk here. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And, uh, yeah, what do we got here? Maybe I should, uh, get ye old knife out. Just, just in case, you know? <laughs> Alright, what do we got? So I can't really interact with the car. We got like some motor oil and coolant. I mean... If it doesn't belong to anyone, finders keepers, right? That's how it works. Okay, let's put that away. And then I guess we'll just pick up the coolant and motor oil. Hey, I'm not too mad about that. I don't think they're very full. I mean, I would have been much happier with the actual car itself. Still have no idea how to do that. But um, I'm kind of assuming we pass enough towns and check them out. We'll probably find someone that's selling a car. So I have 173,000. I could have sworn I filled that up too. I have no idea what saved and didn't from last time. So kind of go into this blind again. Okay, hold on. That's not a rock over there, right? That's like a building. Uh, I guess we'll we'll do some off-roading today. I mean, I still have a good amount of gas. Not as much as I thought, but uh, yeah, it's not that far. I think that might be behind that quarry we saw last time. Yeah, it's like two little houses. I just heard something to the left of me. I have no idea what. Might have just been ambiance. Sure, let's go with ambiance. Yeah. Again, kind of hoping for maybe uh, some sort of barn find here. Oh, that's some uh, some wood or something there. Okay, again, this might be very dangerous. Okay, this time let's leave it running. It might shut off or kind of stall out or something. <gasps> oh, oh, oh gosh, a rat, rat. Jeez, oh my gosh, that scared the crud out of me. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get the knife. Oh, no, not the knife. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Knife, please. Kind of need you right now. Okay, can't pick it up. The knife is absolutely gone. Gosh, I, I should have learned my lesson from last time. That stuff just kind of goes through the ground sometimes. Anything in here? Oh, gosh, more rats. I'm going to get eaten alive. Oh, but there's probably something good in here if it's being defended by rats, right? That's the logical assumption. I just can't really do anything about it. And I'm never going to find that knife again. It's just buried in the desert now. Okay, left the two rats over there. I think there's still um a third one, unfortunately, around here. Hey, I'm seeing some stuff in there. Okay, let's take a, a quick peek in here. Oh gosh, there's like a rat right there. It says weapon. Oh, and there's like a... Maybe a pellet gun or something there? Hold on. This is... Actually kind of fascinating. I'm really happy I came out here. Okay, let's put that back there. Hopefully don't uh, disturb the rat. Can I pick these up? Oh, did not mean to do that. Heavy object. Oh, we can. What the heck? Oh, maybe this is like wood to sell, right? We did see, I think, at the first town. They buy lumber. Is this? Nope, I can't pick that up. <gasps> oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Not the rat, not the rat. Okay, they don't do too much damage. Okay, got a vintage poster. Oh, maybe I could sell that to that, like, antique store or whatever. Gosh. Can I... I could push, right? Okay, that's not doing anything. Hopefully I don't contract some sort of disease here. Air rifle. KZ-22. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, gosh. They're both out. Oh, maybe maybe it's the old ones just kind of respawn here. 4.5 millimeter BB. Okay, I'm assuming that's ammo for that rifle we just got. Let's put that there. Oh, it's not munching on my legs. Oh, I think there's some more stuff in there, possibly. Okay, let's lure these two away. Okay, honestly, sounds like there's some sort of, like, soccer game over here, or, like, a TV or radio is on. Maybe there's one just buried in the desert here. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, salt. Okay, I'm assuming this is just all stuff I could probably sell somewhere. So let's load that there, too. And what else do we got? I should probably put some of the stuff in the backpack instead of making like a million trips here. Ooh, ammunition. 
Okay, I can put that away. Okay, okay. And hey, another knife. Nice. Definitely gonna hold on to that. Got some random bench and military bandage. Ooh, that's pretty dang good. Okay, so if I get attacked, now I can at least heal myself. And, um, yeah, I think that's just about it here. As far as I can tell. Yep, yep, yep. I kind of almost want to try to take on one of the rats, but, uh, yeah, let's not risk it, right? Okay, big question. Can I run over the rats? Because that'd be kind of amazing here. <laughs> let's see. Oh, no, I just bonked it out of the way. Okay, let's be on our way. I think the town's not too far. Gosh, I got to say, I kind of liked it better when everything was kind of quieter. Now I'm just getting those weird kind of creepy sounds of people yelling from the desert. Oh, wait, hold on. There's like a... A stadium thing here. Oh, maybe that's what I was hearing. Maybe it's coming through a speaker. Gosh, I thought I was being haunted by <laughs> the ghosts in the desert. So, Saversk, a dog racing. Bet on your favorite dog. Open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hey, it's Friday. Okay, maybe we could do a little betting there. Oh, that's so cool. I love how diverse the towns actually are in the game. Still no idea how to buy a car or anything else, but uh, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Oh, legal item have been found. What do you mean? Oh, is it because the the weapons and stuff? Yeah, I think they picked it up from there, right? Didn't I throw one back there? Uh-oh. Um, I think I might be in trouble with the law here. <laughs> okay, trying to keep an eye out for um, wherever I could sell any of this stuff here. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Did I just get shot? At? I have no idea what's going on here. All my tires seem good. Oh, maybe that's for the race. Gosh, I am so freaked out right now. Yeah, yeah, you can see the dog is there. Okay, you just see him run across. That's kind of funny. Oh my gosh, look at my money. It's negative. Negative 126,000. Oh my goodness. How was I supposed to know that was illegal? Okay, well, this is off to a bad start. Um, hopefully this pallet and salt and antique are worth like a million dollars oh hey i think we got someone selling stuff here hey kid come over here deliver furniture to my kid's apartment in komsodrinsk komsodrinsk oh i kind of actually did want to head there after okay so maybe we'll take on that mission after we find out how to sell the stuff from our truck bed because it's actually not a whole lot of stuff i think that fit perfectly and i could keep the trailer as payment they don't have money um do I really need that trailer though? Probably not. I feel it would be actually quite the hindrance. <laughs> Gosh, those gunshots are scaring the crud out of me every time. Okay, is this the the thing? Oh, hunting equipment. Okay, because it kind of seems like this town maybe doesn't have um the place where they buy all the construction materials, as far as I can tell. What do we got here? Is this not all legal? Did they not just like take my gun and all that? <laughs> Hold on, I'm a little I'm a little confused here. Oh wait, did they take my Okay, they didn't take the military band-aid. That's 350,000, but hey, the air rifle's worth 90,000. Dang, that was a a good find there. If you're not scared to get your hands dirty, I have a contact for you. My friend Drago looking for truckers. He's a reliable person and pays well. Here's a map where you find him. Oh, insufficient funds, sure. Oh, he buys crocodile, bear. So, oh, we could go hunting for animals and get pretty decent money. A crocodile for 60000 That's not too bad. So, got some meat there. And this is where we would sell the animals. Ooh, portable campfire. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. If we want to do some uh, cooking in the woods. Man, this is so much more complex than I realize, actually. Okay, let's see if we can sell the salt somewhere. Gosh, that gunshot every single time. I think I threw away the salt. No! Oh, man. Yep, that was a trash can. I mean, I should have seen that. That was on me. I have no idea how much money we just lost there. And not even counting the amount of money we lost from uh, getting fined. I can't even bet on the dogs because I don't have money. Oh, my gosh. This is going absolutely horrible here. Let's just at least take a look at the dog racing thing over here. Not that I can bet on it or anything. All right, so what do we got in here? So dogs. Oh, so we could bet on different ones for different amounts. So snail blood's the cheapest. I mean, with a name like snail blood, I don't think it's going to be very fast. I mean, that's why it's probably at a thousand. Rockets at a million. Jeez. Oh, race is going. I have no idea which is which, but this is actually kind of a kind of exciting here. 
So who's winning? So 69 is the rocket, of course. Oh man, yeah, he's way ahead of the pack here. And is, uh, what is that, 15? I'm assuming that's snail blood, right? Yep, rocket, zigzag, underdog, the hound. Ooh, snail blood actually didn't do last. Interesting, got fifth. There's a shady individual over here. Oh, he sells illegal items, of course, of course. But I feel as soon as I buy that, I would get in trouble with these uh, police here. So there has to be some, like, illegal trader or something else, that's for sure. Okay, let's check out the job boards over here. Maybe we can find something that actually pays us to go up north a bit. Gosh, that gets me every single time. Hey, this doesn't seem so bad. So 11 boxes of the goods to Alek Cease Premium Groceries in Komsodrinsk. Yeah, that's kind of where I wanted to go. It doesn't pay a whole lot, but I mean, I'll take anything right now. I'm really in debt. All right, here we are the next day. I think I'm at the halfway point. So this road would take us pretty much back home. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we would pretty much just go up the mountain. Man, that seems kind of brutal to do in this truck. Man, I'm a have a hard time getting back home after, but... Gosh, at some point we will have to do it, unfortunately. I did try out the rifle a little bit in the morning. Um... Kind of reminds me of the long drive rifle, right? It's just like a BB gun type thing, but I'm kind of cool to try it out on maybe a boar or some other animal. I'm just kind of scared of how fast those things are, as we saw last time. Almost kept up with our truck. But yeah, the one downside is you have to hold the rifle and have the ammo close on the ground. It, does, it doesn't just uh, refill it from the inventory, unfortunately, so it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. Oh, are we going to like a more modern city? I already see something over there. What the heck is that? I think, oh, the salt flats, right? Oh, what if they're just like racing cars or something? Ooh, that's going to be kind of cool too. Gosh, I am not paying attention to the road. I'm too distracted by things on the side. There's also something over there too. Yeah, you know what? Let's check it out. Bye, die, die. Oh, it looks like a wrecked car, right? But there's something red there. I think it's like a hood. All right, let's check it out. Oh, gosh, I not put the brakes on? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Ooh. Almost lost the car there. <laughs> so what do we got here? Ooh, okay. So there's a hood for sure. I'm not sure to what. Ludo radiator. That's at like 3% and a little bit of palinka. And smoked bread bacon brick. I mean, my guy is a little hungry. Hey, not bad, not bad. Okay, really made us thirsty though. I mean, I don't have a Ludo. I have a rust something. So I guess we'll just toss that in the back for now and maybe sell it at the next car store we see. Let's have a quick drink here. Oh gosh, I think I might have had a, a bit too much there. <laughs> oh, this is like uh, my summer car. All right, let's wash that down with some water, hopefully. So yeah, okay, it does really pay to check out some of these spots because those are pricey items at the store. Reach like in the tens of thousands. Okay, I probably shouldn't, but how about we check out the Salt Lake or Salt Flats over here? I mean, we're already in the area, right? I think they do drag races. You can see some of the cars kind of head down. I'm assuming it's like another betting thing or whatever. But hey, what if this is where I buy a car? Not that I have the money for it, but you know. You see, that's actually a pretty nice red car there. What does that say? Oh, salt mine. Oh, maybe this is where I could have sold that salt I threw away. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what they have to say. If they have anything to say at all. Alright, how's it going, guys? Nothing to say. Okay, good talk, good talk. Oh, I could buy salt for 2900 I'm assuming there's a whole trading thing where, you know, I would buy it cheaper here and then sell it somewhere else for profit. Oh, yeah, bags of salt to Eastport and Kolovi or food factory near Lake Bogdan. Oh, so that was kind of back down south by Saversk. 42000 Not, Not bad necessarily, but uh, not enough for me right now. Plus, I'm already full of cargo. It's also some building over there. Maybe I can find some good loot. This is probably the worst idea for me to be running right across the drag race area. <laughs> Gosh, I'm going to get like rammed at a 100 miles per hour, if not more. Okay, do we got some good loot here? Is this stealing? Do I care? Not really. Gosh, we're just checking out every location today. I'm kind of cool with it. Oh, that's not kind of rough. 
What do you got here, man? Nothing. It's our good friend that just stares off into the void. Can I pick up these tires? Nope. Trying out heavy object mode just to kind of test. But yeah, pretty much nothing here. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness, look at that beast of a car. It looks like a... Yeah, it's like an airplane. Oh, that's pretty dang cool. Hold on, I'm super interested now. Probably going through a lot of gas, <laughs> which I don't have money to fill up. I have to remember that. Oh gosh, this was maybe a big mistake. Gosh, I really don't goof with that. Legal items or whatever. Drag race event every weekend. Bet on yourself and win the drag race. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. Biggie boy. What does that mean? That's just the name of the car. Oh, Red Menace. So, of course, we can bet on ourselves or other people here. I'm really interested about that. Oh, my goodness. 1,560 horsepower air-cooled gasoline. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, I can see why it's called Exterminator. Have no idea how we would ever beat that in a million years. But yeah, I'm not going to win any races in this truck, unfortunately. Okay, let's head to town. I think it's like right over there. Oh, hey, this city actually seems quite a bit nicer than some of the other ones. It seems way more... I don't know if modern's quite the right word. But uh, yeah, we got like actual taller buildings and everything. Yeah, it's like an actual city. I guess that makes sense, right? It would be like the main city in the game. Oh, that's pretty dang nice. Anyone uh, trying to buy some wood here? <laughs> Got wood to sell, that's for sure. What are you? Oh, okay, so this is where we have to drop off the stuff. Hey, I actually found it kind of quickly for once. Okay, let's do that. And then, as usual, we'll just do a little bit of exploring. All right, last two boxes there. And hey, we're, now we're only uh, $108,000 in debt. <laughs> Gosh, that was so brutal. Oh, hey, we got our, our friend here. But how do I... How would who would buy that? That's the thing, and I'd probably get fined. So yeah, let's not even let's not even mess with that. Hey, a jack o' lantern. Not that I have money for anything here though. <laughs> Gosh, I am so screwed. Yeah, I've got food, flour, and lots of other stuff to, that I just really can't do anything about. All right, well, it was uh, I'm just window shopping. Yeah. Oh, okay. This might be promising here. Okay, so they should buy these pallets of wood or. Pallet. Not even a pallet, right? Okay, let's leave that running. And uh, let's check the prices. So, Plank's $87,000. Oh my gosh, okay. I might almost get out of debt here. <laughs> okay, good thing I found this. Uh, still not quite worth it because of the other stuff. But hey, now we only owe uh, $20,000. Man, that's, uh, that's progress. I'll tell you what. Okay, maybe if we sell this hood and radiator... Uh, we might be back in the positives and be able to take on another job. Ooh, vehicle repairs and service. Okay, okay, that's like right there. Okay, let's grab that and I guess, where do we sell it? Oh, does he not buy it? That's kind of unfortunate if he doesn't. I mean, this is a pretty big spot. Do I just drive my car there and then he'll kind of repair and do stuff? That'd be kind of interesting. Oh, I think I saw something there about repair vehicle. Yeah, 71,000. Hey, do you have some time? Hobos of the Mountain started stealing my parts in big quantities. I think they're using a trailer. I need you to go up there at night and steal that trailer. They live up in the mountain near the iron mine next to the road. You won't miss it and you'll definitely smell it. I will reward you handfully if you bring that trailer to me. So mountain and something about a mine? Oh yeah, iron mine, so kind of northwest. Hmm... I mean, I'm kind of kind of desperate for money, <laughs> so um, I'll kind of take on whatever. Oh man, imagine throwing these tires on the car. That'd be pretty cool. Well, but I don't really have a reason not to accept it, so let's go ahead and do that. And I mean, it already is kind of late in the day too, so kind of perfect. All right, let's head to that uh, coal mine or iron mine or whatever it is. Oh, okay. Who almost crashed into the, that guy? Is that just a roundabout? I'm honestly. A little lost in the town right now. I think this is the last area I haven't really checked out. Oh, okay, we can sell some car parts here. Ooh, that's that's pretty big. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I mean, and I think that makes me feel a little bit better. Oh my gosh, so this is where we buy cars. They have like a whole truck there. Okay, okay, let's grab that. And I think the spot's like right over here. Let's do that. 
Oh my goodness, we're finally in the, the positive again. <laughs> Gosh, all that effort. And we're only at 87,000. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so there's that Ludo engine, 59 horsepower. And oh my gosh, the Jerkin, 100, well, hmm. So not a lot of horsepower, but definitely a lot of uh, torque, right? It's a diesel engine. Radiator, and lots of tires here. Oh, these are for our car. Okay, not bad, not bad. Don't know if I really want to spend money on that right now, obviously. But let's check how much that uh, truck is. So it's a Zach Matt 2035 for 520,000. But um, I mean, that's a huge bed right there. Comes with a fuel tank and I think pretty much nothing else. I'm assuming the engine is like back there or under there. Yeah. Tilt cabin. Oh, yeah. You lift it up and you put it right there. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Okay, I think we have some uh, some goals now. All right. Well, either way, we got to go up to the mountains and steal some stuff back. Allegedly. Okay, so I think I came from that side. So let's head this way and see if it actually does loop around or if there's a little road to the mountains. And what are you? Oh, government office. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we'll definitely check that out later, but I don't want to waste too much time. Oh, it's barely like 2 o'clock, huh? It's actually not all that late. And I think this is just like a little roundabout. I mean, is that the mine up there? I would kind of have to assume so, no? Well, we already looped back around, and it's only 2 o'clock, so let's check out the government office. Maybe I could get some uh, legal employment or whatever. Not that this is necessarily illegal. So what's going on here? Oh, hunting license. Ah, firearms license. Ooh, okay. So if I were to do hunting, it would be illegal. I'm not even maybe supposed to have that weapon with me. Interesting. Okay, so good thing I checked that out. Um, Could have got in some serious trouble. I mean, I probably still can, right? Just for even having that stuff on me. And yep, here's the road to the iron mine. So it's going to be... All the way up there, and it's probably going to be very dangerous, considering it's people who were stealing stuff here, right? But gosh, these roads, look at that turn right there. It's such a steep incline, and uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't think I got this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh-oh. Okay, that's pretty dang bad. Okay, maybe it was just the angle, but gosh, that, yeah, okay, it was just the angle, but still really, really steep. Okay, made it past the second turn, and, um... Noticing some people here. Are these uh, the guys who are stealing stuff? I'm not seeing car parts though. Let's uh, let's get out and talk to them really quick if we can. I mean, it, it did say to do the mission at night, but uh, yeah, I can't really do anything there. Okay, so let's keep heading up. Okay, is this the place now? Um, again, not seeing car parts. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's like a trailer there and those guys don't seem all that friendly I don't know what they're doing with their hands there on their chest like vampires oh wait they said something like hey boy get the heck out of here uh oh I think I might have to um, kind of fight with them I mean yeah there's like trash here and everything so I guess it's like the hobo camp okay let's put that there and then number six. Oh my gosh, am I going to get in trouble just for even using the thing? So you have to click R, look at that, click F, and then click R again. Let's go for a headshot here. Oh, I missed. I didn't mean to shoot at you. Yeah, I'm just testing the rifle. You just happen to be in the way. <laughs> I don't think I'm hitting him. Maybe it just literally does nothing. That could be uh, very true here. Okay, let's see if he says something again. Get the heck out of here or they'll knock me out. How about a no? I think I I think I need that trailer. <gasps> I think I just got jumped. Oh, they really did knock me out. Oh my goodness. Where the heck am I? I got like abandoned. Okay, I'm by a signpost. Um there's some car parts here. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Oh, Gosh, okay. Is that the mine? I think I'm behind the place. 
Oh, I thought it sent me to like a town over. Yeah, yeah, it's like right around the corner. I think you can see my truck over there. Are they still protecting the trailer? Is that what I was supposed to get? I don't recall, honestly. But um, maybe they went to sleep and they're not going to be around it right now. Oh, yeah, they're not there. Okay, so I think I, I literally just came at the wrong time, unfortunately. Yep, here's the trailer. I think the BB bullets. Yeah, okay, cool. That's still there. And now to grab the little trailer. And hopefully not get knocked out and left in a ditch again. I mean, surely they have to hear me, right? <laughs> let's see. Let's go in reverse over here. Turn it just a bit. I'm assuming it just has to be kind of close. I think that's pretty... Oh, yeah. F to attach. We good? I think I might have to still um lower it or lift it up. So I think that post is holding it up right now. Let's do that. And yep, I think we're good. Okay. Whew. Not going to be attacked or jumped right now, right? Not going to have the dog scent on me. <laughs> I think we're good. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So, Vladan, he's like, hey, I see you brought the trailer. Let's talk. Okay, okay. Hey, that's some uh, good progress there, I think. Oh, gosh, that dog's still over there. <laughs> okay, okay, let's talk to him. Thanks. Now they can't use it to steal my parts. You can keep the trailer if you want. I don't need it. And here's the reward. 200,000. Oh, my good sir. You are so helpful. Hey, that's pretty nice. Um, Honestly, I don't really need it. I feel it's a little bit of a hindrance. Does it even have actual tires? I think I'm just, like, scraping it on the rim. Honestly, I might just sell it around the corner <laughs> and now get some money for it, right? But, hey, we're back to pretty much where we started this episode at, like, 280000 And, yeah, not seeing too much there that I really want. Um, I mean, we do have to get some gas. How are we doing on that? Yeah, 37 liters. Let's try to sell this over there. I think I have to, like, back the truck up into it and all that. Or, how about I get the car fixed, right? Ooh, that'd be kind of nice. Maybe he'll... Do the pay. I'm willing to take the risk. It's like 70000 Let's uh, do that. Did that do anything? Did I not have it in the right spot? Yeah, that's still at 80%. Oh, I think I had to like drive it in and have it right here. Man, he just stole money from me. Okay, that has to be good there, right? I'm not just wasting $140,000 right now in total. How's that? Okay, does I don't think he did anything. Oh, man, that was a waste of money. Yeah, that's still like 95% and everything. And nothing changed. It's still all rusted and old. You scammed me, good sir. I trusted you. Okay, I don't think I have quite the maneuvering skills for this, but, uh... Oh, gosh, I'm not going to get that anywhere near there. And nope, that's not how you sell it. Okay. Hmm. Well, we got a trailer. Don't know how useful that's going to be. Again, might be more of a hindrance than anything. Gosh, it's going to make it kind of hard to get out of here. Uh-oh. Am I trapped in here now? <laughs> oh no, I might be trapped in here. Don't mind me, just gonna push this into the middle of the road here. <laughs> okay, how's this game gonna tell me that's not, like, perfect to attach there? Well, you know what, that trailer is uh, a lost cause. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. <laughs> I tried, I really did. It's gonna block traffic for the rest of eternity there. Okay, any good missions over here? So, Sabversk. Oh, kind of back south, essentially. Mr. Lincoln, 26,000. I need some of these, like, yeah, 202,000. That's what I'm talking about. So we got Lupova or Kolovi. I mean, Kolovi wouldn't be bad, but gosh, that I don't know about that mountain pass. That seems absolutely brutal. But, man, 202,000? That's, uh, that's some really good money. And it's only boxes, right? Yeah, let's take it on. Um, I don't know if we'll finish it in this episode. But we'll sure as heck get started on it, at least. Yep, and there goes pretty much a good chunk of money there on just gas. So back down 100000 And this should be about 202000 So I'm going to end up about 303000 Not too bad, actually. You know, I kind of wonder if you follow these posts. Maybe there's something kind of secret out there. They just seem kind of weirdly placed. Unless that's like a landmine area and you shouldn't go there at all. Is that a pig? Nope, just a tree. And man, these are going to be some treacherous roads. I think it was like right around that corner where you just kind of start hitting up the mountain. And you know, based off the map, I think I'm going to kind of struggle just like I did getting up to the coal mine. 
And man, if it's gonna suck going up, I can just imagine going down. You know, you're gonna kind of be flying down. Hey, but you know, that might be a good way to get down kind of quickly. Man, this game really is just gonna have me drive up a whole mountain, huh? I, I'm just realizing that, like, the severity <laughs> of how steep the mountain really is and all that. Okay, can I take some shortcuts? Because, um, yeah, there's lots of twisty roads. Oh gosh, this might have been already a horrible, horrible mistake. I should have just stayed on the road. This was not a shortcut, really. Or maybe it was. Hmm. Okay, let's go to second gear. Maybe I can meet up the road somewhere up there. I think. Right? <laughs> Possibly. Okay, third gear is kind of pushing it on the dirt. Never mind. Let's go back down a second. Right, yeah, that's kind of the road right here. And maybe I can meet it up again up there. Hey, if it saves me from doing all, like, the twisties, I'm kind of cool with that. Yeah, that was, like, a, a decent chunk kind of skip there. Oh, gosh, what if I can't get back onto the road? <laughs> okay, okay, I think that's kind of enough. Seems way steeper up there. All right, we'll just stick to the road now. I mean, that's some okay progress, I feel, maybe. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the odometer would work and tell you how far you've actually gone. I don't think it does. Oh, gosh, I should... Always pay attention to the road, especially on a cliff like this. Gosh, that would be horrible to fall down the cliff and lose all the progress and have to pick up all the boxes. Ooh, got to really not take these corners too fast. Almost drove off the cliff there and ooh, a little wide. We're good. We're good. Please stop. Okay. Yeah, so it seems to actually have taken a, a longer way around. Yeah, I thought we were going up that left side. I mean, I think we might. And Oh, there's like some buildings up there. Is that on the map? Not that I'm aware of. Huh, interesting. Maybe we'll find some more items or rats or something else there. Oh my gosh, look at this road here. How the heck? Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh gosh. I don't think I can make that. <laughs> if I'm being real. Let's try a little bit of a better angle. I mean, I went in there with some speed the first time. As long as I keep all four tires on the road. Might barely... Nope. Oh, gosh. How the heck? Okay, brake. Okay, second gear. 22 miles. 25. Gotta blast through it. Oh, come on. We're like right there. First gear. Come on. I think switching gears is what's messing me up. I lost so much momentum when I did that. Okay, let's try that again. This time without switching gears. We'll kind of just... Uh, Full send it as much as possible. Yeah, I think that was the issue. I would switch gears, and I guess when it was in neutral, it would kind of roll back a little and lose momentum. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Gosh, that was absolutely terrifying. I was, like, almost down the cliff there at one point. But hey, at least it does kind of feel like we've made some progress now. I'm kind of thinking the building up there might be a motel. That's kind of what I'm assuming, right? I feel that kind of makes the most sense. Just like, hey, you get up there and take a good nap, you know? Oh, so not hotels. They kind of just seem like those little camps from before. There's like some cars. Uh-oh. I don't know how I feel about this. And oh my goodness, look at the road down. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, so we got like a police officer there. And then just kind of some regular people. Okay, okay. I think we're good. And gosh... Look at this height difference. If you go down there, you're kind of done. I was almost tempted to just go down that side. It seemed, I mean, I don't know, kind of seemed kind of smooth. Probably wouldn't have been absolutely horrible. Oh no, is there a car coming this way? Uh oh. Hey. That's kind of sketchy. There's some random car. Is it abandoned or is someone there? Oh, there's some people. Wait, hey man, did your car break down? You good? Hold on. Kind of want to. See if I can maybe help this guy if he needs help. You good there, buddy? Nope, okay, he doesn't need help. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it and say there's no cars coming towards us, but, uh, yeah, there hasn't been cars coming towards us because that'd be absolutely terrifying to have to kind of get out of the way for them. I'd probably just push them off, honestly. <laughs> okay, I'm playing this way too risky. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yep, went way too risky there. Now I got to do like a... 10 point maneuver. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go. No, 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 no. Don't fall off. Oh, that was kind of bad. I didn't realize how steep that incline was there. Okay, but we're finally going to start kind of winding down the road a little. But, um, 
I'm gonna use my big brain over here. And yep, just gonna go down the mountain. I think that's gonna be way easier. I hope. Okay, we really don't have the braking power for this, but yeah, we're like flying past all that. As long as I don't hit anything too rough, I think we'll be okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Kind of spinning out. All part of the plan. Yep. Totally intentional. Oh gosh, 105. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, slip through the crack there. Don't flip, don't flip. I think we're good. That was a hard stop. Okay, this side actually seems pretty clear and I should be able to connect to like the main road down there. Fortunately, there's like a storm coming in though. Oh gosh, not a rock, not a rock, not a rock. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Okay, at least the boxes are kind of staying there. Yep, we're good. Nothing happened. Well, that's one way to get down the mountain. Hey, we're finally back by this guy. Gave us our first mission. Hi, bye. <laughs> it's gonna blow past him at like 100 miles per hour or kilometers per hour, I think, in this game. So that was Jacek, so we have to go left. Okay, we're actually making. Oh my gosh, that bump. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I have no idea how we landed that. Yep, we gotta go over here to the left and up another mountain, but not too bad, not too bad. I'm honestly surprised we made it down the other mountain in one piece. Absolutely amazed by that. Okay, please don't ram into me at 100 miles per hour. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, my truck's not looking that good, I think, from the top. Yeah, it did take damage. Oh, no. Oh, what if that by repair... I paid 70000 for the guy to get the dents out. Uh, I was thinking, like, condition of the truck, you know? Everything would be at 100. Nope. And why is there so much traffic from here? That's kind of... Kind of strange. Are they, uh... Are they running from something, <laughs> you know? I see a lot of people leaving like that. It's a little concerning, especially in these, like, tiny towns. I, I guess this one's a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, let's try not to speed too much, because, uh, again, I don't know if the police can get you for that, too. Knowing my luck, they probably can. Okay, and where was this for? I forgot if it was, um, Eastern Essence Pub. Oh, yeah, it's right here, right here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, last box there, and that's a job well done. And, yep, $303,000. Not bad at all. All right, so how about we leave this one there? That was some really good exploring. I mean, at this point, we've kind of explored almost all of the map, right? Except maybe that coal mine and Lake Bogdan and a few other places, but I think that's a uh, pretty good overall. And now we know we could find cars at some of those uh, part shops and whatnot. So, you know, got a little bit of a goal there. Probably just take on a couple more parcel deliveries. But uh, I think next time we might actually pass by this guy's like house for once. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.